Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we have made Faraday cages before, or we've attempted to uh, experiment with Faraday cages before, but um, we did have like a little shoebox Faraday cage that we made a long time ago. But um, I really wanted to make like a legit Faraday cage. And so I had done some research and a steel um, trash can was something that a lot of people had said would work. Well, I wanted just a little steel trash can. I didn't want like a giant one. So I went and got this. This is just a, this is a high steel grade, um, little mini trash can. And so what I did is I put cardboard in, or husband and I both put cardboard inside. And then we tried to put some um, tin foil, some aluminum foil um, along some seams here to see on the inside to try to seal any potential holes or anything from these because we were having some trouble identifying because we were putting something in here and then, um, you know, it would still be pinging and we were like, what's wrong, what's wrong? Well, finally, um, we diagnosed that it was, it was definitely the lid. The lid, when it sealed on, um, it wasn't, it's not like a airtight seal or anything, okay? It's a locking lid, but that doesn't mean it's an airtight seal. What was still happening is that, you know, frequencies could still get up and through. So we put um, a whole bunch of tin foil in on the top and then that worked. So we're going to just quickly show you an example. Husband is cranking, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, he's cranking a, a hand crank so we can get some AM FM in here and see if it works. It worked with our cell phones, um, we couldn't call and we couldn't ping our cell phones, things like that. So And actually when we took it out, it actually said no service. So. We, I feel like that was working. Now we're just gonna show an actual test. Okay, here's our radio. I'm gonna put it inside. It sounds like there is slight static, but it's not picking up anything. So I would say that this is a success. I, you know, we do hear a little bit of static, but static is nothing, you know, if it doesn't even pick up the actual station. There we go. So, um, it will, if it picks up it's static, static is okay. It wasn't picking up the actual station. Even just putting it in a little bit, it did start to fail almost immediately. And then when I put the lid on, I didn't even have to put the lid on fully tight and it was sealing. So it's not pretty, <laughs> but um, you know, we put a little bit of duct tape just to make sure that it wouldn't, uh, that it wouldn't uh, tear, that the actual tin foil wouldn't tear because I was having some tearing problems with the taking on and off. But whatever you put in here, you just wanna make sure that, um, you know, this is something you're just gonna put in there and then you're gonna put the lid on and you're not really gonna to touch it a whole lot. Or when you do, if you ever suspect that something's gonna happen, you just open it, throw some stuff in, and then, you know, put the lid back on. You're not opening and closing it all the time, which is what would tear this. So, anyway, I like this little um, Faraday cage and um, this is something that's going to be our um, permanent Faraday cage now. It's not just a little shoe box with some aluminum foil in it. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.